24 Sussex Drive, or as I like to call it, the 2-4, the official residence of Stephen Harper, Canada's 22nd Prime Minister. A man who has been described as aloof, cold, hostile to the media. A man who leads a minority government that could teeter and fall at any moment. Today, the Mercer Report cracks open the 2-4 and says hello to the Harpers. <laughs> Prime Minister, welcome. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. So uh, let's talk about the Clean Air Act. Um, is you okay? You got a minority government. Right. All the parties have come out and said that they're not going to support it. Your party will. Can this can this thing pass? Well, there's a lot of things we can do on the act without passing it, mm -hmm. but I sure hope so because I think we need to reduce pollution and we need to reduce greenhouse gases in this country, and this is the first plan to do those things. Okay, what about this 2050 thing? You guys are really good at retail politics, but was it smart to bring out 2050 as a target, because you will be in your 11th term as Prime Minister when that happens. There's actually a series of targets that begin in the next few years mm -hmm. and go over the next 50 years. It's a long-term plan, but it that's starts... really long-term. But it starts soon. But do you think it was smart to say 2050? Because that's what everyone leapt on. Well, I think if you, look at, if you look at what other people are saying, everybody's talking about targets that go over 50 years. Because mm -hmm. we're talking about the environment, we have to think long-term. Okay, what about your relationship with the media? I was a little nervous coming here because you have this relation, you know, this reputation as being very standoffish with the media. Right? Well, you, you do? Know, it's, uh, we try and conduct ourselves in a professional way. It's a... Uh, it's a difficult environment, the mm -hmm. relationship between journalists and politicians sometimes. Because it's been suggested. But, but have you eaten anything? Uh, no, it's been suggested what, that what you were what? like the least media-friendly government you, outside of what North you, Korea. What have you had to eat today? I had a granola bar. I, I, <laughs> I, granola I, th bar. I think you need more than that. I no, think I you need more. You need to be able to focus, concentrate. Come on, let's go get you something. No, I... Let's, let's go get something. You're making the sandwich, I noticed. If you don't have anyone to make the sandwich, you make the sandwiches. Oh, it's the kind of hospitality I always show, Joe okay. Rick. I understand. Okay, let's talk about you being a control freak. Are you a control freak? I don't think so. I, you know, I'm paid to be in charge. What about cheese? Cheese is good. Cheese is, cheese is good. Yeah, cheese is important. Before we, you we were got prime cheddar minister, here. Is that your that's favorite? That's good. Before you were prime minister, would people accuse you of being a control freak? I don't think they would have. Why don't you let the cabinet ministers speak? Take a guy like Monty Solberg. Everyone likes Monty, you know, because he's a funny guy, had a he's blog. He's a good guy. Yeah, but since Great he's guy. a minister, he's disappeared. I half expect to see him on a milk carton. Oh, he's out there talking to new Canadians, trying to get this immigration system straightened out. What, you have to what about mayonnaise? Yes, please. Mayonnaise. I was in the hotel. You know, my grandmother used to make the best. I was in the hotel this morning. There was two it's Tories. a great memory. There was two Tories yeah. in the elevator, and they were talking in about the, the fact... In the hotel? Yes, they were talking about the fact that you don't let cabinet ministers You're speak. You're not staying in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course I'm staying well, in a hotel. You can't stay in a hotel. You have to... How long are you going to be down for? I'm just here for the night well, to talk to you. why don't you spend some time with us? Spend some time with the family. <laughs> Did they fit? Yes. Although I'm starting to feel a little... Um, Compromised. Well, you look comfortable, and that's what we want. Can I talk about the Accountability Act? Sure. Okay. I, I have a question about the Accountability Act. These donation limits. Okay, now, I've never donated money to a political party ever before, but if I wanted to, if I lost control of my senses and wanted to give 1200 bucks to a politician, I'm not allowed because there's a thousand dollar limit. That's What's that about? Isn't this a free country? How come I can't give 1200 bucks to whoever I want? Remember, to? it's not about how much you can give. It's about how much the politician should be able to receive. Okay. I don't have to go to bed yet, though. Hey, you kids keep it down there. You're not the boss of me! <laughs> Right there. Through this action plan, the government will reform the financing of political parties. Reform the financing of political parties by reducing the opportunity to exert political influence through large donations to political parties and candidates. You know, when I can't sleep, I count ridings. Uh, thank you for the bed, uh, couch. I hope you had a good sleep. I, well, I did. It was short, but it was good. Good. Um, let's talk about the polls for a second. Sure. Because I know you say you don't govern by polls. That's right. You don't read the polls, but I certainly look at the polls and pff, not good. Not good. You're tied with the Liberals, and the Liberals have no leader. I mean, they're like, 
They had, they had no water. How does that make you feel? Well, there was one. How that... does that make you feel in your little hut spot? One last week had us tied, another had us way ahead. So mm -hmm. in this business, you pick the pole you like. Okay. Now, okay. So say you're tied now, but. There's going to be an election. We all know that. It's a minority government. It's got to fall eventually. You're going to pull the plug. They're going to pull the plug. But who would you like to see when you head into that next election as your liberal opponent, as the leader? Now, that's an interesting question. Yes, it is. But I've got to get the kids to school. Come on. Have a good day, Rachel. Have a good day, Ben. Have a good day, Rick.